this sort of secondary tutorial is about making the prizes, once they've disappeared, reappear somewhere else, which is quite cool. But before we do that, I've made a bit of a mistake. I just tested my Pac-Man and I've collected all the items and I've got a score of four. Problem is, when I start it again, my score stays at four. And I just keep going up. Like that. And then I'll stop it again. All the prizes will reappear and I just my score doesn't reset. And the reason is because I've forgotten to do something. So what I need to do is go back to Pac-Man and write this extra bit of script. When the green flag is clicked, set score to zero. And that's it. That's all I need to do. So that every time I click the green flag, it will reset my score to zero. There we go. So now I can collect things, my score will go up. If I stop it and click the green flag again, my score goes back to normal. So, now we've done that. We're going to make this bunch of bananas, once it's disappeared, reappear somewhere else. So, what I'm going to do is click on it, click on the sprite to get the script panel up. There we go. Um, now, and I'm going to add in the go to command. Go to X. There we go. Now I'm going to find the place where I want it to reappear. So let's say down here. So that is minus 190, minus 148. So all I'm going to do is change that to minus 190, minus 148. Um, now, the ha now that will automatically move to the new place. It'll automatically reappear down there once I collect it. Let's try that out. Pac-Man's coming over. He's going to eat the bananas. Up he goes. There we go. Now that should move. Hmm, yeah, interesting. I've just figured it out. You know what? I've just figured it out. I've told it to hide and I haven't told it to show again. So, what I need to do is put in looks and show. There we go. Right. Let's try it now. See, it's reappeared. Boom. And it just keeps reappearing now. That's the problem. So, if I stop that. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to put in a random, uh, a bit of a wait, so that when it disappears it waits before it reappears. So between change score and go to, I'm going to put in wait a second. So now you'll be able to see it. There we go. You just get over to that. Bump, it disappears, waits. Oh, and it's back. Bump disappears, waits, and it comes back. Now, we can make that even more interesting because um, what we can do here, before we do that, instead of putting wait one second, we can wait, pick random, and have anywhere between one and, say, five seconds before it comes back. So it'll wait, any, it'll just pick a random one second, two seconds, three seconds, or what have you. So let's have a go. Click on it, bump. One, two, three, four, five. There it goes. Bump one, two, three, four, five. Seems to be waiting a long time. There we go. Should come back a bit quicker at some point. It seems to be picking the air. There we go. So it's just picking a random amount of time between one and five seconds before it comes back. Um, and we can go even further than that. Instead of go to X this, we can go to X, pick random. Now we can set that to anywhere between minus 180 to 180, like so. And it will pick a random place to appear then. Um, you could even do it for the Y command as well, so let's try that. Pop it in on the Y command. Let's see if we can do that. 
pick random. So what have we got? Minus 180 to 180. So now, this is getting reasonably complicated, but what you can do is, basically what that means is that if it touches Pac-Man it will disappear, it will add one to your score, it will then go to a random place, anywhere in here, wait sometime between one and five seconds, and then it will appear again. So, if I run this, let's go and get some bananas and see what happens. There we go. Well, oh, turn the pup there now. Collected it. Where are you? Waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting. Where's it going to be this time? There they are. So I can keep going around and it keeps appearing at random places. The only problem is it might appear in a wall or two. Now here's a quick way to get this script onto your other sprites. What I do is I just drag it and drop it on top of the hat or on top of the crisps or what have you. You, you should be able to see it you know, because my program's running. Um, if I right click and duplicate this, I can I can drag it onto my hat. Well, that's selecting my crisps if you can see. Drop it. I can drag it and drop it onto my hat and that's done. Let me delete this now. So it's fine for the bananas. The crisps, I've got the old script and the new script. So I can just delete that one. The hat, I've got the old script and the new script. So I can just delete that. So that's my new script and I've applied it to all of my prizes quite quickly. So now if I run this, come on, my prizes as I pick them should start reappearing in random places at random times as I whiz around the maze and try and collect some points. So there we go. Excellent. So have a go at that. I know it's a bit complicated, but it makes your game much more interesting.